Today I want to talk to you about some discoveries I've made and maybe if you guys are just dabbling in the soul side of NFTs and the soul side of like the whole crypto or even any other chain outside of Ethereum, what you can sort of expect and a couple of tools to help you. First off, I would like to thank Jay Halanda from our Discord for helping me out here with the tools he or she uses on Soul. But I would like to just talk you through a few things here. So this is OpenSea. As we know, a great tool with OpenSea, if you haven't seen it, is Gem. Gem enables you to sort of uh, aggregate. Uh, it's a good market. Oh, here we go. They say aggregator here. It's good best aggregator for between the different uh, websites. OpenSea looks rare, X2Y2 and um, Rarible. It also helps you see the floor price. And also, it has really good up-to-date data, as you can see here. This does say live, for live view. Nine seconds ago, all the results. And then it basically shows you the floor. You can also... Um, sort out here southern resources the whisper you can see all of the categories here what their floor is the prices there's also the sweep tool where it can come in and then say i want to buy 31 for 94 eth just click sweep here and then it will do that without you having to go through manually buying it on OpenSea. also what it does you can see previous sweeps fantastic so you can see what's pumping these are, i believe were a free mint and you can see they're basically everything at the current point in time Versus if you come over to OpenSea, you find, let's say we go to, let's actually find that one I was talking about, um, Cheebs. So you're, you're on Cheebs and you, you try to buy one. So you click the refresh and you're like, all right, low to high. I would like to buy this one. Oh, that's sold. Okay, and then you're like, all right, I need to scroll here. All right, I would like to buy, no, these are all, these are all sold. But this basically takes away that pain. And if you come here, let me just jump over to it. How much easier this is where obviously not all these will work because you do actually have to go through a process but you can see all the ones that are actually listed and they are updating five seconds ago it updated so this is a great tool and when i was looking at some soul things because soul is so cheap it's like for example my favorite way to actually look at like the soul sales is coming into OpenSea activity because they recently added solana and then you can click the soul sales this date this time slightly wrong i don't know what the deal with that is but if you come in here you can see how cheap some of these sales are. FOMO bombs, $2.80. Uh, Buff bears, $5. And I, basically, I was experimenting with a couple of these, both actually those two, which definitely don't recommend to buy. They're both rugs that um, were real cheap. So I was like, oh, we'll experiment with these tools with basically no money. So I can learn what to do when something big comes around that I actually want to be invested. And I was like, okay, so I click on these and you can see this sold for 0 0.06. So let's actually click on the OpenSea listing of it. And you can see the floor price is 0 0.11. I'm like, all right. So I, I assume OpenSea is not the place to buy, which is most definitely just a word of warning. And because if you click on activity, you can see all the sales for 0 0.06 and you can see they're on Magic Eden. Magic Eden is great for owning NFTs is what I've discovered here. They've got a cool bulk listing tool where there's only, when you can list five of them at a time and you can set the floor price. Only thing I don't like about it, which is actually fantastic for Magic Eden is when you do sell it, list it, it does take it out of your wallet for these other websites which i'm going to get into in a moment for OpenSea, you can't actually list them on multiple which is something it could be something to do with the soul could not but if we jump over here to FOMO bombs which is this is a good comparison over there you can actually see these are their listings and none of these were available on OpenSea because they're actually listed on magic eden but still hypothetically i was like oh what's the rarest not all of these have rarity listings and there's a few different rarity tools that come with soul which were confusing to me this is why i experimented with something so cheap like this just like with ethereum there are a couple of main websites such as rarity tools rarity sniper i think yeah rarity sniper um they're the two main ones for ethereum it's definitely become rarity sniper is the main one um for soul it seems to be soul rarity is the main one and they're like the old days of rarity sniper where there's a discord there's a chat where you type in your rarity and then you find what the how rare it is there are a couple others moon rank is what magic eden uses but new listings don't actually have moon rank on them it takes a little bit to process it seems to be maybe they're like a web 2 company coming over don't actually know why it takes so long you can, if we jump into okay bears you can see moon rank sold by rare to common here which seems to be the acceptable one here these are them you can see here this is the rarity it's got them you hover over it says moon rank 14 15 16 let let me too been recommended hyperspace just to have a look at it just to fiddle around with it and if we do the same 
Hyperspace is a little touchy when it's very hard to actually search for a few things that aren't really, really popular, such as FOMO bombs, which, as you can see here, I type in FOMO bombs. What they do really well is they're a micro aggregator, just like Gem. So this is exactly like Gem, basically, which I'm going to get into. Where here you can see all the listings of these. You can see here, this is Coral Cube, which I will also get into in a second. Magic Eden, if we scroll, I assume... There's going to be a lot of Magic Edens. Uh, let me go to a different one that's not so popular so we can... I'm with the gods here. There's uh, Solonart, which is uh, old. This is what I used to use before I discovered Magic Eden. Solonart, then there's Magic Eden. Then you saw there's Coral Cube, Coral Cube. Then there's um, Open Sea. You can, all these logos down the bottom left change. And then there's also, if you here, see here, there you can sell on Hyperspace, where you can basically list on Hyperspace and anybody who's using the aggregator will actually see your listing on it, which I thought was very cool for one, that you can sell on Hyperspace. They also have a rarity. They use, funny enough, they use looks rare, different to the looks rare marketplace on Ethereum, just because people love to choose the same name, I guess. Uh, one thing I have most definitely found, looks rare's rarity is very, very wonky compared to soul rarity or even moon rank. I purchased a couple using this when these are the only ones out, just again on something super, nothing expensive, just to test it, just to fiddle. And then I plug it into the actual official soul rarity that the projects say, and a rank 40 was 2,000 on the official one. So take these rarities with a grain of salt. However, if they are cheap, if they're roughly floor price, could be worth just buying based off these rarities if you think they're going to be swooped up, obviously. Do your, do your research on the rarities. I maybe even test out $20 how I've done with a couple of random projects. The cool thing, which is I believe actually new in the last couple of weeks, is this sweep mode. Just like Gem, uh, Hyperspace have introduced a sweep mode where you can sweep a max of 20. Here you can see 155 soul. These are a max of 20. Obviously, this is done by rarity, so I can change this to low to high. Uh, clear this and then do it again. You can see now it's 32 sold. These are all the cheapest ones. And across different marketplaces too, Magic Eden, Coral, Cru Coral Cube. And then you can just buy and then it's one transaction and you process it. Other cool thing with this is, yes, you can use this, but you can also click add to cart, which you can also do on Gem. So they've copied from Gem, but you can click the ones you want. Like if you don't want to just sweep all the basic ones, which this is very, very useful for Soul, especially for some of the real cheap brand new projects that get listed for like 0.1 sol, which are so cheap, as you can see. I'm not sure if you saw that for that uh, refresh. These were 0.2 sol, and if I had seen or known about the sweep mode, I could have purchased them back then without having to manually go through process, process, process. Very cool. Um, I've used this just, again, just to test out on a couple of projects that are completely worthless, and it works like a treat. Like, it, you buy it, and you, it works. A couple of negatives that come with um, hyperspace, from a couple of people who I've asked and also my experiences are this floor isn't fantastic on a live update. So if something's pumping and lots of things are selling, you might have the exact same issue that you do on OpenSea and Gem that if you go to buy and check out, it won't be there. But with Sol, luckily, gas is so cheap. You literally click buy, buy now. You do it and it tells you right away whether or not it's processing or if it's sold. Not that big of a deal for me. But I understand it can be very frustrating if they're pumping, pumping, like ridiculous, and you just can't find one that's there. The last one that I'm showing you, at least today, is Coral Cube. Basically, this is hyperspace, but better, minus the sweep mode. Um, Coral Cube is very much so exactly what hyperspace is. Let me jump to Panic Station Pythons. There's a market aggregator. You can see again, this is Coral Cube. This is Magic Eden. Um, there's more Coral Cube. And then these also show OpenSea. These also, oh, there was OpenSea down there, actually. OpenCC, this logo. Um, these show all those. So if we directly compare them, sorry about the screens a little wonky. And um, you can see even just even the most rare ones, which sometimes are the easiest to get right. You just make them number one. The re Number one is number one, but even number two is different. Number two is number 32 here, which is all the way down here at number 12. Yeah, that's still top 10 which is actually good to take this in my head at least i know like the top 10 is maybe similar but you can see the rarities are different um this is because again i haven't confirmed this i believe so coral cube luckily use 
soul rarity, I believe, um, which just makes life so much easier that there is an aggregator that uses a good rarity that uh, currently all the projects are respecting as the main rarity tool. So even if you do want to sweep, you can come in here, you can, this doesn't have the sweeping ability, it's the only thing it's missing. But you can sort by rarity, let's say top supply. You can also sort by um, price, so let's say top 2.5, apply. And we come in here, we can see we're ranking by the most rare, and you can see, oh, okay, at 2.5, this is, I can get this rarity. 386, let's jump over to hyperspace. 386, 368 versus 253 versus 274, so similar, very similar. Anyway, just to round this up, very cool aggregators, come use them. If you don't want to connect your wallet, you don't have to. You've seen me, me here doing this without actually having my wallet connected. So if you're nervous about that, then by all means, be nervous about these random websites connecting your wallets. You can still come in here. You can see the one that you want to buy. You get the rarities glaring at you in the face. You get their price. You get their marketplace. Um, and so you come in here. You're like, all right, I want to buy this one in Magic Eden. You can come over to Magic Eden, find that one, buy it through Magic Eden. A more respectable, I understand. But it's just very, very cool to see. Also, a few times when stuff pumps, a lot of people just buy a Magic Eden. You'll notice this one hasn't sold since we've been here, but the ones around it will have changed. This is because this is listed on Coral Cube. Only people with access to Coral Cube or even other aggregators will have seen this. It's helped me, obviously, again, not much money, but I bought one of these. These actual Panic Station Pythons I bought at like 0.15 sol when they were already pumped up to 0.3 because not everyone checks all the websites during the pumps, which is something very cool to see. Also, sales, again, they're going to have the three hours ago. You can come through and actually see all the sales on here, which is also cool. You can see what the price is roughly at, whether or not there's a lot of them. Unfortunately, the time is not quite right at the moment. This turns out to be slightly longer video. Um, this also, after doing all this research, all this uh, fiddling, uh, for the last week or so getting ready for if Sol becomes massive because it's been integrated across lots of platforms. This is my still my favorite way to see what is selling, what's selling at what price because it shows you not just on OpenSea, which I really like. This shows you basically any Sol NFT sales across all of Sol. So this shows you Magic Eden. It will show you Coral Cube. It will show you all of those and it auto refreshes. So I come in here, I scroll, I'm like, all right, Firma Bombs, Beans, F PFP. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what are the actual bigger ones? Soulful, uh, Tripping Ape is coming down a lot. And you can just scroll through here and have a look at these if you're at all just wondered or interested in staying on top of the market, what sells, what price they're selling for, where they're selling. It's just very, very good. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.